Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Crusader Kings 3 from Rags to Riches campaign within the Byzantine Empire and with me being extremely bad at roleplay as well. Anyway, in the last episode not much went on. A lot of trying to befriend people so we can invite people to court to educate our future children. A lot of claim making, a lot of kind of improving opinions and um, not really much went on. Hopefully in this episode we can get a war going so I would like to get some claims over up in the Bulgaria region up here. Um, now, there is one thing I noticed off camera here now. It is no longer going to someone else. They have a child together, so I don't really need to fabricate a hook on you anymore. So I'm going to stop that straight away. Don't really need to do that. And um, we're going to keep swaying the Duke over here so I can get the marriage going. Now, this is the Duke of Ospikion. He's his son. So basically, the Duke's grandson would like to have a matrilineal marriage with us. If we get my like, extra six opinions. So I'm hopefully in not too long, in 11 months, we can actually do that. And then we'll focus on doing a lot of other things. Like, notably, some more marriages with our other remaining children. Anyway, let's... F what's this? I can... Someone culture? Oh, we need to promote culture up here. Yeah, let's promote culture. Let's get rid of that um, culture here. I don't know what it is. What culture is it? Bulgarian. Yeah, we need to get rid of it because it gives us negative uh, 10 popular opinions. So we'll turn that into Greek. What we also need to do is get our kind of... Um, patriarch here and what we shall do is definitely get a claim going um, Strumica do I own this let's try it let's have a look no I don't own it so we'll get a claim on this I think it's part of the Duchy of Bulgaria it is so we'll do that claim there that's pretty fine once we've bef um, increased the opinion of this guy I need to increase the opinion of our patriarch because he's not giving us anything he's giving us no cash he's giving us no levies so we need to kind of make sure we change that without any further ado bim bam boom let's get rolling boom Okay, so we are making a little bit of gold per month. I would like to stockpile for a castle or something here. Uh, so feast as my guest depart. So with everyone headed for the respective homes, I'm proud to say the feast was a success. So we gained 150 prestige. Every guest gained 20 opinion of us. So yeah, we did hold a feast in the last episode. Let's have a look at our vassals now. Are they kind of a little bit better with it? They're slightly more with us, I suppose. There's only a few now that don't really like us too much. I mean, of course, our brother, but um, is it our brother? I oh, know my nephew, well obviously he's pretty much a pretender, so that is why. But no, it's um everything is pretty much stable at the moment, and I'm I'm liking it. The more stable, the better. Making acquaintances. So Orestes seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely. He got on quite well with everyone he spoke to, even the adult guests. It never hurts making friends. He gained Gregarious plus two diplomacy, plus five attraction opinion, plus fifteen percent personal scheme power. Opinion of Gregarious characters plus ten. Um I can make him greedy, but um I don't want to really make him greedy, do I? Monthly income plus 15%. Or I can make him lustful. Do I want to make him lustful? Hmm. Well, I think we could. We could get him to... Uh, I mean, do I want to turn this guy into a, into a lustful dude? You know what? Let's turn him into a lustful. Let's turn him into a lustful individual. However, let's have a look. Whoa. We're sadistic. He's sinful. Now we'll make this. We'll make the net. No, we've already got our sadistic, horrible man, and um, we'll we'll get you gregarious. You need to um, keep control of the realm. Ransom. Uh, again, no, I'm not going to ransom. Sway compliments. So what's this? To make do simvatios of Opsikion uh, more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment in my next missive. Soaring ambition. We'll keep it short and professional. Yeah, let's keep it, uh, let's get a bit of soaring ambition. Hopefully it'll work. Yes, he, he likes it. So this might actually work in our favour now. So I'm going to quickly pause it. Now this guy, we might be able to get the matrilineal marriage going here now. Yes, we can. Thank you very much. So we're going to do this. Boom. Hopefully if it all goes well. So basically the Lee's current duke here will die. His son takes the throne, who is a fat man. Um, I think he's fat. He's greedy. He's gluttonous, so he's very fat. And he has a twin as well. That's very interesting. And then when he dies, it should be his son, who is matrilineally betrothed, or should be, to our daughter. Which means, in the end, our family should take control of the duchy. That would be a great move. That would be a really good move. So I can actually stop you from um, swaying this guy now. I don't need to do that anymore, so I can stop... Um, the next thing I'm going to do is, now over here off camera, England, they have a new king. 
Oh, he's married. Damn, he actually found someone. Who is your primary heir? Okay. He's actually married in the meantime. Maybe he'll pop out a child. We need to be pay close attention to if he does. And then we need to get in on the marriage act as soon as possible. We could get a nice alliance going with England. That would be really great. Um, but let's keep on. Bim, bam, and boom. Any thoughts I can do here? Too few knights, we know. I'm going to recruit you for a bit of gold, which I am going to do. I'm going to do some more. going to recruit you, maybe, for 20 gold. We do need to get some more knights going. Anyway, he accepts the betrothal, which is fantastic. We'll get rid of all this. Knights have arrived. Hunter's Lod has been built. Spouse kills. So you gain six for stewardship. So, social manipulation. For the time, for the first time it happened, I barely gave it a moment's thought, but my vassal, do Nikaforos, has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed amongst my vassals. Mocking his intent will... Mocking his insistent whining will shut him up. You get a weak hook on him. He loses opinion. Um, hmm. Do I want to do that? Our problems will be blamed on him. A subtle threat of violence. Yeah, aware of a sadistic man. A subtle threat of violence. Let's see what happens. From puppeteer to puppet. Haha, <laughs> I thought my threats would shut up Nick Falls up, but he simply ignored oh, no, he ignored it. Damn. Okay. Well he didn't take my threat seriously. We have a fair bit of dread, but he still didn't take it very seriously. We have another knight that's arrived, by the way. I'm gonna recruit you as well. You're still way better than the horrible crap that we've got. So I'm gonna forbid you now. And now we're kind of pretty much up on knights, so that's fine. Gonna allow you in case one dies. Do I have nine knights here? Yeah, that's fine. We now have better quality troops, which is good because the knights were better quality. So of course, increases the overall quality of our army. Counter control has been finished over there. That's good. That's good news. Let's pop some more counter control then over here. Get it all back up to one hundred. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot we need to sway our patriarch, don't we? Let's quickly sway you. Can I send you a gift? I've already sent him a gift. Let's try and sway him. We need to get this guy's positive opinion of us. Um, let's slow this down because I'm getting too many kind of messages here. Neighboring ruler won a war. Our vassal won a war against who? Count Bardas of Helopon Helena Pontus? Where's Helena Pontus? Oh, it's over here. Okay, of course. So, basically, of course this is our family, isn't it? That's interesting. So, it's now all Paphlagonia. He's basically got all this on his own. That's really good. I'm liking that. Wow, look at that. Oh, my God. That's like a vampire. Wow. Who are you? You're a countess. Can we get anyone? Do I have a son? Or a nephew? That's a shame. I don't. I would, I would like to have got married and get, like, kind of make an albino child. That looks like, it's like vampire shit, that. That's freaky. Freaky, freaky, freaky. Construction negotiation. Beneficial deal. Building construction goal cost a minus 10%. That's pretty neat. But we're just going to save the gold. Hopefully it'll work for the castle as well. Does it work if we could try and construct a castle? No, it doesn't. Doesn't seem to work. So it's only for buildings inside and inside like a county. And we've got a claim now, which is fantastic. So we have a nice claim on this dude. So let's keep making claims. Let's keep going. Because we are going to want to kill, fight, and destroy. Let me claim all the way up here now. Just make sure it's all in the same du jour duchy. Oh, it's not. It's a completely different duchy. But no matter, we could make the, we could make the title and we can just like du jour claim it for our, for our vassal. So that's not a problem. So you here, we can declare war. You have no friends. You have vastly inferior men. Um, yeah, let's do it. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? We're just going to expand and increase our ever-growing influence. So I'll raise all here. March you over to next door. Of course. We have way more men than he has. It's like insane how many more men we have. And we'll just keep making claims and we'll keep fighting, keep growing in influence. And um, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to overthrow the Emperor. I still don't really know how I'm going to do it. And I have absolutely really no idea. So again, if you guys have any idea whatsoever, please um, put it in the comments below and uh, I'll be really great to like learn a few things. Because you guys have been amazing. In the, in the comments, you've all gave me some really cool ideas, like how to change partition law that I explained in the last episode without like waiting for the actual innovation. I mean, I never thought of that. I mean, who would think of that? I mean, 
Jesus, it was just brilliant. And then there's a load of other good stuff as well. It's just, you. I mean, I'm learning to play the game at the same time because I'm nowhere near an expert at Crusader Kings. Never been an expert at Crusader Kings 2. Uh, Crusader Kings 3 even less, obviously. And uh, the only game that I'm really actually good at is Imperator, to be honest. And even then, I'm not actually that good. I'm just fairly competent, but without being anything exceptional. And yeah, so I'm just still basically learning everything as I go along here. And all like the little tips that you guys give, it just it's like... It works wonders. It really does. And I really appreciate it. Um, anyway, above the domain limit, we know what Dutch is this again. This is still Bulgaria. Can I create the title? I can't create it. Do I, have, do I need to have more? I mean, let's have a look at the Duchy of Bulgaria. Um, right, let's find a title. Let's find the title. Um, Duchy of Bulgaria. Okay, why can't I create it? I only have three of the four counties. Oh, is that the... Yes, yeah, the Duchy. So, one, two... Oh, this is quite a big one, actually. So, I need another bit. I need one more piece of land, so... Basically, where are you claiming? You're claiming in the wrong section, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's not. It's in the right area. Oh, it is part of the duchy. Oh no, it's not. It's what I've just conquered. So he's making it up here. Is this? Oh, it is. It is, it is, it is. So he's making the claim there. That's great. That's great news. I didn't, I didn't notice that. So I'll disband you. And then we hand this to someone else. Let's see. We've got a couple of knights we could hand it to. I mean, I don't think I've got anybody of our... F I don't want to give it to any one of my family members, to be honest, just yet. Unless there's someone in our house that I have missed, but I highly doubt it. Um, let's sort by age, and um, let's go down. They need to be... Like, they need to be of age. It's, like, vital. Who are you? No. No. Count Antiochos of whatever you are. Where, where's your where's your land? Oh, it's down here. So it's not you. Um, need to see if we've really got any. I don't really know if we've got anyone. I don't think we do. Yeah, not really. We don't really have anybody else. Oh, what about this cousin of ours? Maybe this cousin. And who are you married to? Oh, you're in Palmer up here. Okay. So who inherits the... Yeah, I don't really have enough. We'll, we'll go to the court and we'll give it to... We'll give it to one of our loyal knights. Yeah, we'll give it to one of our loyal knights here. Yep, yeah, you can have that, dude. No problem. Take it. It's fine. It's a, it's a gift from me to you. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Then we only like leave one more then, and we can actually create the Duchy of Bulgaria. And definitely hand that out. What do you want? Do you want to ransom? Not going to happen, dude. I mean, really, you can try to ransom all you want, but it's just not going to happen. Uh, where are our three houses, by the way? We've got three houses, so we've got... This cadet branch, oh, it's over here, isn't it? Of course, of course, this is the cadet branch, one of them. And then the other one, of course, is based in Epirus over here, of course. That's that's obvious. Can I declare war on you? Mm, I don't have a claim. That's a shame. Action created. Yeah, whatever. Our acquaintance died and another acquaintance died. So a lot of our acquaintances have been dead. Our cousin's been taken prisoner. At least it's not from our house, which is vital. <laughs> Thank God for that. Sinful Bishop Exposed. So, greetings, Desperate Alexandros of Hellas. I've heard good things about you. You're the King of Asturias again. I want to befriend you. Do you have anything we can do? You have a boy. Hmm. Nah. 
Let's... Do I have any stress? I have a little bit of stress. Let's politely decline. We'll get the stress down. What? England's got land over here now? What? And here? This makes no sense. We've got, like, Sweden here, England there. This is insane. Do you have any children? Are you pregnant? You're not pregnant yet. We need to keep an eye on that. Keep a big eye out on the Kingdom of England and see what happens. We need more gold. Well, we're making quite a bit. 16 gold, actually. I'm quite happy with that, but I need more. More is needed. Like here, we should probably upgrade some buildings before we actually save up for the castle down here. Um, what can I go for? Hill farms would be good. I quite happily have some hill farms. Um, I think here we're full. I could increase some of the stuff. Like, yeah, I can increase the camp here. What can I build here? Go for hill fort now. No, nah, I don't need to build anymore. We'll wait a bit. The controls need on here, which is really good, actually. The quicker we can get that control, the better it will be. And then we can move it somewhere else. The quicker we can also get this claim, the better it will be. What? Why? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm under arrest for crimes against the crown, apparently. Um. Why? You bastard. So who are my allies? Well, we have a lot of them, really, and our family members are all over the place. Um... Can we get any more alliances with anybody quickly? I don't think I can. Well, you know what? We have done nothing wrong. We've done nothing wrong here. Do I start a rebellion? Oh, this is very... I think we should. Should we try it out? Really? I think we should. I mean... We've done nothing wrong here. Let's, let's try it. I want to see if I can actually bring in other people. Yeah, let's go. No, I don't want to accept the wrong one. I want to decline. Let's slow the game down quickly. So I have declined. Now I'm going to call our allies. I'm going to call my dynasty members as well. Oh, you won't join? Why? Um, I can't even send you a gift. So what if I was to offer guardianship of my daughter? No. Um, what if I was to... No, let's see what I can do. There's got to be something I can do. Um, okay, let's see if I can call any of the other Dynasty members first. Oh, we can't be called as an ally against his legal vassals. Why? Well, that's a pain. So basically, if I wanted to, I couldn't even call my dynasty members. Okay. Oh, so I'm on my own, basically. Okay, so this is new. This is entirely new. So, uh, looks like we're on our own. Looks like we are on our own. So, how are we going to do this? Very difficultly. There's a lot of men. We're pretty much on our own here. Um... Anyway, let's raise all armies.
Okay. Um, why have they raised down here? No, um, wrong thing. Um, disband all. Wrong. I want to raise all here. Thank you. Okay, so now they've all been raised. So what do we do here then? Well, we fight and uh, try to do something, but I don't know how. Okay, I don't want to go over here and beat this guy up or not. Or do I want to go straight for the, for the jugular here? For the capital. Let's march straight to the capital. Let's see what we can do. I still don't know if we're going to be able to do anything. Anyway, marital, uh, marital recrimination. So absolutely unacceptable. Irene burst into my chambers, her face red with anger, yelling loud enough for the entire castle to hear her. Um, so, uh, Georgine has just insulted my honour. I demand that you cast the Lotham Churl from our court. Yeah, I'm not doing anything for you. Because you, you murdered my daughter, so you can, like, go to work. You can go to hell. So, I don't know. Why does it say I can call them, but... Of course, I can't call them against... Yeah, I can't call them. It's really annoying. It really is annoying that I can't actually call them. And he has a lot of men. So let's have a look what the war objective is. War against a tyranny. Hmm. Alright, if he wins, he gets a title revocation. So he could revoke any title he wants off me. Um, but yeah, we ain't going down without a fight. So Orestes comes up, comes of age, so this is good. Let's have a look at what he is. So he's crap, of course, obviously. There's not a surprise there. Alright, let's march all the way over here. Actually, you know, there's a lot of men there. I suppose we have to defend our land. I'm guessing we have to defend, so maybe we should just stay and defend. Uh, the betrothed can marry our boy and, of course, Marguerite de Valois, which would give us possible inheritable traits for the children, which we're obviously going to accept. I still don't know what he's doing or where he's going. But he is being a bit of a pain. Um, let's go down this way. I need to find out where he's moving. I got another diplomacy last off perk. Room to rule. Um, don't want that benevolent intent. Um, let's get thoughtful. Why not? We send a gift to improve people's opinion. It would increase it a little bit more. I still don't know what this guy is doing. Maybe if we... I mean, can I, like, knock someone out the war? I really don't know how this works. Um, I don't know what this dude is doing, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to stay down here. Anyway, greetings, Desper Alexandros of Hellas. So he's got claim for me. But no, I don't really want that claim just yet, to be honest. Maybe if we fight defensively. Oh my god, 12k? Yeah, we're pretty much screwed here, I think. Yeah, we're well screwed. We're, like, really screwed here. There's literally 12k on our doorstep. Like, literally. And I don't think I have anything to help us here. I'm going to go down here and see if we can actually push him back. If I can actually buy some form of miracle, get something off the guy. I'm going to put my vassal in charge of the army. I have superior quality, so I'm hoping that we could do something. But even though I'm not very confident. Yeah, I'm not confident at all. I'm really not. 12k stack. 
Don't they'll lose decisively. His commander's an excellent commander. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. He's definitely going to revoke something off us. But then again, it is normal because, I mean, we are very powerful, <laughs> as a vassal can be. Um, okay, he's got a claim. Who's got a claim? Patriarch's got a claim. Yeah, whatever. The Patriarch can go and screw himself. Uh, we've got more men at arms counter. I've got higher quality defensive building defending in hills. Um, have they got that disembark thing yet? No, they haven't. It's gone. The disembark thing is gone. That is a shame. I should have kept them down there. Yeah, unfortunately, I think this is going to be a no-go. Yeah, I'm going to surrender here. It's pretty pointless. It's fruitless. I ain't going to win here, and all we're going to do is lose our men. I'm pretty confident that's what's going to happen. Um, I mean, he's got way too many men. We're outnumbered 4 to 1 here. We're outnumbered 4 to 1. Um, and I think it's just pretty pointless resisting here. And he's just going to take our capital and he's going to smash us completely. I mean, I suppose I could give it a try. Oh, he's legging it? It says I'll lose decisively. Let's try it out. I want to see what, how this works. Okay, so I've got a small advantage over the guy. I've got superior quality. He's got more knights. He's got a better commander. But even though I'm fairly confident that we're going to lose. Yeah, he is really, really, yeah, he's smashing us completely here. I mean, okay, we're getting better advantage, but yeah, it's just... There's, there's no way we're going to actually survive this. So I just finished the fight here. Of course, he's killed a fair few. Yeah, I've got to surrender. You bastard. You bastard, you bastard. Imprisoned. Can I ransom myself or not? Yeah, he won't accept. But he will accept for a favour. Um, okay. Let's have a look what I'm going to do here. Well, let's disband the army. No, oh, I can't just yet. Why can't I? Oh, because they're retreating, of course. Um, I'm going to ransom myself for a favour. Sorry, dude. I need to get out. I need to get out. So he's gained a favour on me. You are swipe. Okay. Okay, okay. Now we're pissed. Now it's time to... I can't even murder you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What, what a douchebag. What a douchebag. I hope he doesn't revoke any title off me. I mean, I hope he doesn't. If he does, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, who have they got? They've imprisoned my courtier. One of my knights. It doesn't come free. To my abhorrent vassal, I hate you. I really hate now this emperor. We're going to have our revenge. Yeah, I'm going to decline the offer. I don't trust him. I really don't trust him. Um... Yeah, I don't trust that guy at all. We're going to work on trying to get rid of you, dude. 
That is what's going to happen. Hopefully he's not going to take anything off us. I really hope he doesn't. Our army retreating, of course. I don't know why he tried to imprison me there. But he's not taking anything off me yet. But he did get a favour on me. So I'm going to disband all you guys. What did I lose? And that's in so I can't actually call in any of my family members. Hmm. No, I'm not returning you. So how would this work then? How would this... How would I actually... So I can't do a war where I kind of... Uh, um, kind of call all my house members in because that's not going to work. They can't come against their liege. So how am I going to do this? Maybe I have to conquer enough land, as you're speaking, in order to usurp the title. Maybe. I mean, let's have a look at this. If I was to do this and go on to the title here, we would need 149 counties and 1,000 gold. I have no idea how we're going to do this. We need to seriously think on how to move. Because that was... Yeah, that was just chaos. I couldn't have fought that guy. He had way too many men. We couldn't have done anything at all. Like, nothing could have happened there. Apart from our ultimate defeat. He had like 12,000 goddamn men, for Christ's sake. And I had like no allies within the realm willing to fight. What? Could I do any faction? Right, I'm going to search for a physician. I don't think I have one. I'll quickly search for one. What about if I invite claimants? I've never really done this. Let's invite some claimants. I want to see what happens. Uh, welcome, administration, holding taxes plus 10%. That's pretty good. That is going to be quite useful, I've got to say. Hmm. Anyway, court physician. Who am I going to take? You or you? Well, definitely um, Chrysanthos. You're way better than the other one. Uh, oh, our wife gained major architectural expertise, which gives us more fin which give her more finesse, to be honest. That's good. Good, 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 good. More stuff. More stuff indeed. Where's our boy? Where's our son? He's here. Are you uh, are you popping out any children yet? No, you're not. Oh, she's ill. Are you kidding me? Please don't die. I beg of you. Please, please, please. I need you to pop out some intelligent children. To help us. To help us overthrow the Emperor, which I still have no idea how we're going to do. <laughs> None whatsoever. Anyway, paying homage. My vassal, Mayor Innocentios, has arrived outside my castle with a grand procession of well-dressed diplomats, knights, and exotic entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade led by Innocentios himself. In a booming voice, Innocentios announces that he's here to pay homage and that he's coming bearing gifts of gold. Please enter. He pays some gold to us, gains a bit of opinion. We gain prestige. Why? You surely have more to give. I gain a lot of prestige. Or keep the gold. My friendship's enough. Hmm. Yeah, let's um, let's take the gold. Why not? Please enter. By the way, what are we doing here? I need to befriend people. We need to invite some people now. And I completely forgot. I knew this. I always forget something. There's got to be not a ruler then for us to invite. Ambitious, generous, and brave. For you, I can, but I'm going to try and befriend you then. I oh, know, I already tried to, and I failed on that guy. So, what about this dude? He is brave, just, and zealous. The peasant leader. Reckless, but wounded. You are brave, greedy, zealous, brilliant strategist, flexible leader. You're old. Um, let's sort by age. I want to have a, like, a, re a relatively young one so I can have him for quite a while. Because I know it's going to take a fair amount of time to actually find a dude good enough. So there's got to be a military man good enough here. What about a vid? Stubborn, content, gluttonous. Nah. Not going to work for me. Fresco, you're impatient, brave, callous. And rough terrain expert. Hmm. 
Um, who am I going to bring in? Impatient generous, just this Nubian, maybe. Want to bring in this Nubian? You're just honest, and stubborn. You have logistician and folder. Hmm. Got to be someone better. Zealous, lustful. Well, I think it's got to be this guy then. Um, maybe this Nubian. Well, negative 95 reasons. No, so I'm not going to invite him. Even when I befriend him, I don't think he's going to want to accept. My character. Oh, he's gone down again. Bloody hell. Um, hmm. Brave, wrathful, ambitious, skilled tactician. You've got good traits. You might be good to invite, to be honest. Well, negative 130. Okay, so, well, he obviously is not going to work then either. God, there's got to be someone we can find. Surely to God. Greedy, zealous. No, but you're old though again, aren't you? Um, what about this guy, Stinop? Yeah, let's try and befriend this dude. This is an arm chant to befriend him. Let's try and befriend him, see if we can bring him in. The most important is this there, the brilliant strategist, which is definitely what I want. And we're gonna we're, we're gonna need brilliant strategist to overthrow this emperor guy, especially next time if he tries to imprison us again. Again, I'm still excommunicated. What if we were to improve the opinion with the Patriarch? I suppose you could do that at some point. Improve the opinion of the Patriarch. It might work. Cousin taken prisoner, he might like not or stop excommunicating us again. But Jesus Christ. You bastard. Everything was going well until he petered off. Oh well, cousin taken prisoner, cousin released. I've nearly got a claim going here. Let's up the speed here. I completely forgot on speed 3. Don't need to keep it that low. We're very close to getting the claim here. And then once that claim is done, we shall fight. Now, my neighbour D. Theodos won the, gore, won the war the gore, the war against King Pavel of Moldavia. Wow, Moldavia's pretty big. Uh, task finish. The, yep, they've embraced Greek traditions, which is great. So it's no longer Bulgarian. It's all Greek. And now we can increase the level of development. And I think we'll bang it on... We'll bang it on Attica again. It is the capital. I think it's worth it. Only 15 development. What is the... What is Byzantium? 30 goddamn 2. Wow. Look at all the development over here. Wow. It's way better than our place. Why is it that much better? Or maybe not. Maybe the further we go. Yeah, well, the further away we go, the worse it is, I suppose. Um... He wants to... Oh, shit, I forgot. Um, the Emperor wanted me to ransom someone. Well, wanted me to buy someone back, but I completely forgot. Anyway, we've got a claim now. Excuse me. We've got a claim over here. 78 gold. I press a claim on you. No problem. Let's now go a little bit further along the coast here. And we'll get a claim going against... Who? You. Over here. I want the claim on this. Well, the next thing we're going to do is declare war on you. You have way less men. We can absolutely smash you. It shouldn't be too hard. They have inferior men. Let's fight. Let's fight, let's fight, let's fight. Take our anger out on you. We'll take our anger out on you because the Emperor imprisoned us because we're excommunicated. Task finished. Watch this. Um, fabricate claim, of course. And he's finished the promote culture class. We know that one. Thank you very much. And hopefully when we take this, we can create the Duchy of Bulgaria. What I'm hoping we can do. And then, of course, we'll hand it out to our, um, one of, probably this guy here. I think we'll hand it to Count Theophylactos. I think that'll be the best thing to do. Maybe we all have lost a war? Who, who lost? Do Theodotos of Optimatoi. He lost against Count Yovan. What guy? Well, then, not my problem. Alpen's constructed in Yuvea, so that should give us a little bit of extra tax. Not too much, but a little bit extra. And we are losing money now, but of course... Oh no, we're trying to improve opinion with our Patriarch, aren't we? Oh, I did. I Did I, did I stop that of my own accord? 
I did to try and befriend this guy. Oh, well, we'll befriend him first, and then if it works, then great. If not, I'll try and improve the opinion of the Patriarch. Faction created against the Basilisk. Please let me join factions. Oh, it's, um, yeah, they're not any, it's kind of um, peasant faction. There's nothing that we could really join. Could I create an independence faction? What would happen? But this is the way. I think we could be independent. But then again, for the moment, I want to eat the empire up from the inside. Then as soon as we get as much land as we can, I might press an independence thing and then conquer the rest of the, the, the kind of Byzantine land needed to become emperor. I think that has got to be the best way to do it. I can't think of any other way. Anyway, we've won this war. This was damn easy. Unlike the last one. <laughs> the last one where we got absolutely smashed. Can I make the duchy now? I can. And all I need is the goal, which we're very close to getting. Um, so you have got that land here. Um... I'll give this to this guy. And then the, the, these two, they can cancel each other out then. And we'll actually disband now. If you go. Because then these guys will actually cancel each other out. Because they both own two pieces of land. So I'll give the dukedom to one of the guys. And then the other one can easily counter... Do like counterweight and counteract the guy with all the... With the duchy title. Don't want to give everything to the one duke. Because otherwise it would just be too powerful. And it would be a bit of a pain to deal with. Um, Despotism inspires recruitment. Levy cycles 25%, thank you. Prisoner taking siege, all that, yep, all good stuff. Siege won, faction created against him, we know, thank you. Neighboring ruler won a war, it's the Caliph Ibrahim. But then again, that doesn't really concern us down there. So, befriend, irreconcilable differences. Ah, oh, my chance to befriend him stopped. I can't befriend anybody. It's really not working. Anyway, by right, my wife has informed me of an obscure law in the county of Arbanon and states, um, that states none but the despot may be its protector. Normally, such archaic law should be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put Dunic Foros, my vassal, the current ruler of the county of Arbanon, Arbanon in his place. What do I do here? I get an unpressed claim on the county. Or oh, Nikophoros can keep the title by my grace. Increases his opinion of me. Yeah, on increases his opinion of me. Why not? There's no reason not to. What do you want? Counting... Yeah, no, I'm, you know, I'm not... No, you're in jail for a reason. I'm not letting you out. Currently being raided. Well, it's not me. It's the Byzantine Empire that's being raided. But it counts... I don't know why that pops up here. It's not me being raided directly. It's just the Empire as a whole. I mean, they're not even on my land. So I don't even know how that works. Anyway, we've nearly got enough gold to make the duchy, and I'm very confident of doing it. And what next? Maybe Strimon, maybe, hopefully, <laughs> will be the next thing to take. And then Philip, and then Philippopolis. Just try and take as much stuff as we can. I really can't see any other way of doing things. I really can't. Do I have to... Oh no, I don't need to promote culture, because there's no other cultures to promote. Oh, what do you want? Hmm. Should I get him released? Let's get him released. Let's get him released and let's check our knights again. Wow. This guy's got 30 prowess? Are you kidding me? He's like a knight and a half. Wow. 30 prowess. I wish we had a guy with 30 prowess. It'd be good if we could fight with that. We've only got four. Our guy's a bit naff. What about our son, though? Ah, he's like a four as well. He's got no prowess at all. Is our wife pregnant yet? Or our kind of daughter-in-law? No, she's not. Anyway, good to my liege. I've been um, hosting your Chancellor Duchess Petronia for several weeks. She's just helped me see the, truly the splendour of the realm under your rule. Um, so, Jonasia comes of age. Okay, that's good. They got fast against thrifty clerk. She's not too bad. Should I change lifestyle after this one? You know what, we'll go for Ducal Conquest, and then it'll reduce the title creation cost by 20%, and then I'll create the claim, I'll create the title once we get that lifestyle perk, because it will cost us less. Anyway, Cursed Undone, the twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God know that I was cursed the day I met Panther Rios. Today, however, that curse has been lifted, fate smiled upon me, and brought the vile spawn of hell to his grave. So he's dead, I lose stress, that is good. That's finally some good news. It's not all horrible. 
Really not all horrible. Um, I should probably... Oh! Ill my mortal body. Oh no! We're shaking! We must have a fever! We're gonna die! No! Desperate little peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke up coughing in the early hours. A dull ache through my head and throat. Hmm. What do I do here? Well, I suppose we could leave me be. Yep. Leave me be. Let me die. <laughs> I'm ashamed what happened. I got imprisoned by the Emperor. Leave me be. Leave me be. Hopefully, if he dies, then, of course, our son will inherit the throne. Which ain't all that bad. We could just do with him, kind of, you know, doing rumpty dumpty with his wife. Greetings, desperate Alexandros. So I've heard good things about you. She wants a written conversation with me. But no, you're like, no. I mean, she's all the way down here. I mean, what help are you going to be? Like, none whatsoever. Oh, God, what happened? Did our... Oh, our dude got overthrown. Really? Well, they overthrew my family. On the How did he lose that? What an idiot. So we're going to have to go and take that back now. We'll do that after we take this duchy. Oh, God. Spouse of skill, she gained architect... Which gives stewardship plus two, which is good. Thank you. Could assist me a little bit more then. We are dying, unfortunately. But then again, as we said, we should be fine. Family members can be married. And that's war declaration for what? Why do I want to declare war on you? I don't want to declare war on you. Oh, I gained the contested title. Well, I suppose I could, actually. We could do that. And then hand it to someone else. That would be cool. Maybe that is something we should do. Maybe that's a claim we should press. I, I don't know. I'm very tempted to do so. Maybe with the next ruler. Quite possibly so. Anyway, when we nearly got the next lifestyle... Um, ransom. No, again, same individual. I'm not ransoming you. Go to hell. Go to hell, go to hell, go to hell, go to hell. Not going to happen. Right, let's up the speed here a little bit. Um, who died? Alliance with... Oh, we've got some people that are dead. So, Alliance Invalid, Do Thomas of what? The Duchy of Sebastere. So, now we're no longer allied to this guy. Am, am I allied to him? Alliance invalid. And alliance expired. Oh yeah, but I'm allied to, I'm allied to you now. Oh, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Worker diligence. Motivated workers. Building construction time minus 15%. Got a new lifestyle perk, so finally we can go for Ducal Conquest. Is there anything like in here that we could use to kind of overthrow our leader? Oh, our ruler? No, nothing there. No, commission epic decision, that'd be cool. Level of fame impact. Bonusy per level of fame. There's nothing really there that could help us. Well, let's create this duchy title now, which we can do. So the duchy of Bulgaria, which should cost less now. It does, it costs uh, only 200 instead of 250 now, which is way better. So we'll create that duchy of Bulgaria, and I'll hand it to you, my friend. Yeah, I'll hand it to you. You can have that title. Duchy of Bulgaria. So all that is now yours. Thank you. So that's another duke under our command, which is actually great. And now I should be able to probably do du jour wars for you. If it all works out according to plan. Yep, seize the county du jour uh, and do it. Yep, that's fine. That is great. So now I can actually expand, take the rest of Bulgaria because you can do the du jour war, which is absolutely fantastic. So that gives us another way of expanding. We need to... Oh, Crete's be taken back again. Oh. She's got it now. But well, I want that title back. I want the Kingdom of Crete back. For one of our family members. But now, of course, our family renown's gone down to 5.72. It was five, uh, from 5.72 to 4.72. It was 5.72. Because for each king, you gain plus one. 
So we're going to need to take that back. That's probably what we'll focus on next episode, because I'm going to end the episode here, people. Um, next episode, we'll focus on probably taking uh, some of this Duchy of Strymon here and uh, probably creep back. And um, hopefully it will go a lot better than this one, because we got imprisoned by our damn king, and I might actually sway you. Let's, let's, yeah, I'm actually going to start swaying you, dude, because you don't like us at all, and I would... Oh, but then again, I'm dying, so it's pretty pointless. I'll sway him anyway. It's a bit pointless because we are dying. And then we'll continue swaying him anyway with our uh, next ruler, Prince Oresteeds, who will probably come to the throne quite young, which means he could reign for quite a while. But um, anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me, people. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more Crusader Kings 3 content and notably some bad roleplay, also consider subscribing to the channel. And with that said and done, thanks again for being here, people. And I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.